So since we're nearing the end of the year, just a general curious question. How have your guys' years been, you know? Because sometimes you got some good years, you got some bad years. Just curious how it's been. Mine's been alright, I guess. I don't know. I can't really complain too much about it. It's just stuff, so... Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, hey guys, well, we got a match here today against Dangerous 36M. Yup, that one guy who was dead but now isn't, but still is whatever, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we got an Ubers match, and yeah, I know, same team. I'll get a new one soon, and just haven't found a team that really clicks with me just yet to use a bunch. So, you know, we'll, we'll keep looking, but anyway, still same team as usual. Uh, he's got a quote-unquote sun team, it's like... Because with his, obviously, it's not really too heavy on the sun. I mean, there's still some guys that take some support from it, but he doesn't really need as much. But, uh, threats on his end. I do need to watch out for that shaman just to figure out what it's doing, where it's going to go, and why it's going to do it. Uh, Dialga is always annoying just because you never know exactly what it's going to do. And, uh, you know, just got to figure out what it's going to do and then figure out what my proper things taken on are. But, uh... I mean, other than those two, I'm not really threatened by too much. I do got to find out what RCC is, obviously, but that's, you know, an obligatory thing. But mainly just got to watch out for Shaman and Dialga, but they shouldn't be too threatening in the end as long as I play my shit right and whatever. But leads on his end, I was figuring you could go with, like, Groudon or maybe Frostlass, but if he did decide to lead off a Shaman, I wouldn't be too bothered by that, even with Kyogre, because I could just easily switch out to something that would not mind taking on Shaman. But he is going to lead off Frostlass as I do lead off Kyogre. It was kind of a stupid play just to stay in right off the bat and show him I am slower than him instead of, you know, baiting that I was scarfed. But I was like, eh, we can 2 KO him because he's going to have the Sash. He's probably not going to have Destiny Ball, so I'm just going to go for another Surf and take him out. He does just go for two layers of Spikes. So, I mean, in the end, I mean, yes, I did prevent him from getting full uh, three layers of Spikes up. But now he knows I am probably Specs because I went for Surf and was slower. So, that can imply a few things. But anyways, he's going to go to Groudon just to get the sun up. And then switch right out to Dialga just because he knows Spec Surf will still do a lot to Groudon. So, he doesn't really want to take it. So, yeah. Uh, this thing came in. But I noticed he didn't have any leftovers. I figured he would go for a move. Predict me to switch out. So, I just stayed and go for another Surf. He did go for Fire Blast. So, it works out for me. But now I'm going to predict him to switch out. Or possibly just go for another Fire Blast. Either way, Rayquaza should be a good switch into whatever he wants to do. He's going to go into Shaman right here. So I'm just going to go for Extreme Speed to scout what he wants to do. He's just going to go for Air Slash. And again, I noticed no Life Orb Leftovers, so I'm like, okay, uh, he's probably Choiced. He was baiting at Scarf, but I was thinking maybe Specs at this point. But he's just going to go for another Air Slash. I do go to Zekrom, because I figured this might be able to force him out of the prospect of a Bolt Strike. But he's like, nah, I'm just going to keep flinching you. And I'm like, what are you, what, huh? And he just stayed in again. I'm like, fuck. But at least got my rain up with Kyogre, because I thought he was just going to go like Groudon or something to take on the Zekrom, but now I'm just going to go to Ferrothorn, because again, nothing actually. I just want to go to Ferrothorn, because I didn't really want my uh, Watchman Call to really take anything, but just going to go for Stealth Rocks, because I don't really have anything better to do against a Shaman, because actually Shaman completely walls me, but I might as well try. But he's going to go to his Groudon, I figured he'd just set up Stealth Rocks so I can get a Leech Seed off. And then go from there, and I'm like, but I miss, and it's like, fuck, and he did get Stealth Rocks up, whatever, I'll deal with it. But I figure, we'll just try again and see what happens, but he just goes for Fire Punch, which does take me out, obviously enough. I should have probably predicted that, considering he switched to Groudon into a, uh, Ferrothorn, but I was like, nah, he's not gonna have it. But now I'm just gonna go to because I should have speed and take him out with Surf, but it turns out he is actually a, uh, Grind on a speed investment to counter, well not counter, but to check Specs Kyogre, so that's kind of cool. But anyways, uh, he's, I go into Palkia, he's going to switch out to Shaman just to take the Hydro Pump, or whatever I want to do, but I do just choose Hydro Pump because that will hit Groudon the hardest, and it'll take out the Shaman, so that works. But now he's going to go back into Groudon, and he figures that for some reason I might be Scarf, maybe Specs, so he's thinking, he, act, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but Specs actually comes into play later. He's thinking he's Scarf, so he might be able to take a Hydro Pump, but I take him out. So he thinks now that I'm a Choice Specs Palkia, so he's going to go out to his Arceus thinking, hey, I can set up and then sweep his shit. But since I am actually Luster Sorb, I get a strong Dragon Meteor off. Doesn't quite take him out because he's probably got HP investment because I did outspeed him, which means he's not running max speed like the standard Arceus. But he's going to take me out with the Extreme Speed. And uh, now that I know he doesn't have close to max speed or anything, I know I can go to my own Arceus 
and just hit him with an extreme speed which will take him out so at the very least this Arceus is out of the way and it will not sweep my team because I just beat his Arceus with my Arceus but now he's gonna go into Reshiram here and I figure okay let's just go for an extreme speed to see what it does and then hopefully I can deal with it from there because actually I do still have Rayquaza so I should be okay in that aspect he does miss blue flare does not matter in the end as you actually know you won't see anything but what I was going to say is, he actually told me right after that turn that he was a tailwinding uh, Reshiram, so I had the Scarf Zekrom, meaning wouldn't have fucking mattered, because, yeah. But now, he's just going to go for the Dragon Pulse with uh, this thingy, and I just went for Earthquake just in case I somehow lived, but I didn't. But now, Zekrom can outrage the Dialga, and I will take him out with the Outrage, so... Yeah, that's actually kind of cool, and I outsped no matter what, because he was not running max speed and he was modest. So, that is the match, so GG Rick, some fun shit, so, yeah, I kind of was a bit vague at some parts of the narration, but fucking zoom me. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, hope you have a good New Year's time, I guess I'll see you right after the New Year, in a battle video at least. But yeah, that'll be it for today, so hope you guys enjoy, such such blah, Rick on sub, and later guys.